Welcome to Geotab Training Online. Geotab is a world leader in combining GPS technology with vehicle telematics data to drive effective value for fleets and personal drivers. Now let's get started. I think I'm going to be careful here because this is a construction zone. It's an aggressive acceleration this way. It's obviously a hard left hand turn which is cornering, so G-Force technology can help discover whether or not a driver is aggressively cornering the vehicle. Approaching a red light, the technology can also look at fast cornering around a red. Railroad tracks, you'll notice that the G Force does not pick up railroad tracks and speed bumps, which are very common for other G Force technologies to not filter out speed bumps or railroad tracks, which results in poor quality data. So because the Geotab system is able to filter out speed bumps, potholes, and railroad tracks, the quality of our data is that much better. You'll notice on that last acceleration you heard a series of rapid beeps, which was the G-Force cornering and then a series of three beeps, which was our in-vehicle RPM alert, where the vehicle was exceeded a threshold of 3,500 RPM while accelerating. So we did two things on that corner. We both showed rapid cornering in addition to rapid acceleration of the RPM. GTAP systems capable of combining G-force with RPM and speeding in order to create a very useful driver performance profile. Here's another example of over RPM. So in that case, we were traveling at speed. And although it did not trigger a high G-force event, it was definitely indication of aggressive driving that was indicated by an over RPM event. Also notice when I'm hitting these bumps and potholes and things along the road, that is not triggering the G-Force recorded event, which is good. We don't want bad data. We don't want false positive data. What we're trying to do is profile an aggressive driver. We're not trying to profile the types of roads that the driver has to drive on get his job done. That would be unfair to the driver to negatively profile him as an aggressive driver when he has no capability to manage the roads themselves. Here's an example of a right-hand turn at proper speed, and you won't hear the G-Force trigger. wanted a hard break, you'll hear the alert for the G-Force, which was more of an aggressive break than we would have normally um, had. So I braked very hard at low speed, and we still picked up the G-Force event. Previously, our hard braking event was a, a change in speed of seven or eight miles an hour from one second to the next, but with G-Force technology, we're able to actually record things like hard braking events even though the vehicle is only traveling at five miles an hour to begin with as we're coming to a gradual stop. 
Those things cause wear and tear on the brakes, so they're not good to have those low speed hard brakes. There's one nice gradual curve with no G-force. I'll take this corner at a little bit higher speed. So you can hear those pulling excess G's all the way around the bend. emphasis today of the National Traffic Safety Board talking about distracted driving with cell phones, uh, playing with gadgets while we're driving, adjusting the radio, etc. Uh, the G-Force technology can indicate things. So all these rapid hard brakes and other aggressive driving maneuvers um, can be an indication not just of an aggressive driver but also a distracted driver. Uh, the, the technology itself that we've developed can actually profile the type of event that it was, whether it's a braking, a swerve, a rapid corner, etc. So um, if you're seeing a lot of hard brakes and you understand that it's braking versus acceleration versus swerving, it can help you profile whether you've got an aggressive driver or a distracted driver or both. This is a good example with the construction zone up ahead of where a distracted driver may not have seen this uh, construction area prior to um, coming around the bend and um, if he was playing with a cell phone or taking a phone call at the time, obviously that would lead to a potential accident um, situation. 